Hi, welcome to another video on MCP, but this time there is a difference. This is about how to containerize an MCP server. So focus is on containerizing an MCP server and then using that containerized MCP server. That is, we will create a Docker image for our demo MCP server and we will see how we can utilize that custom Docker image in various client applications. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I'm Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. Why should we containerize? The importance of containerization is, once you containerize, the application runs uniformly across multiple systems. That is one thing. Secondly, later on, when you go online with a remote MCP service, definitely we will need to containerize so that we can scale it. This is called horizontal scaling. Depending on the load, depending on the traffic, you can scale the number of containers serving your MCP server solution. So in this video, our focus is on STD IO based transport because XSE based transport containerized examples are very few even cloud desktop natively does not accept it. So even this video, I had to extensively experiment to prepare the demo scripts. Like you know, all my videos will have practical demonstration of how things work. And the code that I will use will be customized to make things simpler. Okay, so let's get on with the steps. I have split this video into several subsections for clarity. Otherwise, things can be confusing. First thing that we will do is to build the MCP server using plain Python code. It's a simple, tiny demo application because anything that I am explaining, I will try to keep the code, number of lines in the code as low as possible so there is clarity in understanding. Okay, so Python, simple MCP server. We have seen this server several times in our past videos. Next thing that we will do is to test the MCP server using command line interface. A simple command line Python code will test this MCP server. Remember using STDIO. And then we will test this MCP server using a web UI called monitor. Remember we haven't yet containerized it. And then we will containerize this MCP server. When we say containerize, we create a Docker image that has this MCP server baked in. So this is not about running the MCP server yet. So at this stage, we have a working Docker image for our MCP server. Now the interesting part begins. I have created different mechanisms to test this MCP server, that is containerized MCP server. Now our MCP server is ready to be tested in cloud desktop application. That acts as the host and MCP client. And we will see how we define the MCP server configuration to launch our MCP server Docker image as a container within Claude. And finally, we will see what more experiments we can do with this containerized MCP server image. Okay, so that is in a nutshell what this video is about. Let's get on with section one. For this, we need a Docker file. And this is the Docker file. This is plain vanilla Docker file. Nothing fancy about it. The entry point is Python and command is server.py. Okay, so let's look at the server.py. So this is a very small code. There are some commented sec sections which I am leaving it. Those were my uh, experiments. So you can ignore the log data, etc. That I will continue experimenting. This is the MCP server section. Lines are similar to what we have seen earlier. List tools will list the tools and this has got hello-world2. I deliberately added two so that we can identify the change. This is a simple tool that returns the message. So if you pass hello, it will return hello-world. Okay, so the, here is the tool. This is the, so this is the string where we are inserting our message and adding world to it. Okay, so that is it. So in this, this MCP server need not know that it is going to be executed within a container. Simple MCP server that we have used in all our previous videos. Okay, so now 
how do we build the image? Let's execute the command. Okay, so when you clone my repo, you will get this Tiki Talks AI folder. You need to cd into mcp docker and then 001. That is where you will find this folder mcp hello world. Okay, it has got several files, but we are only using few which I am using in this video. All rest of the files are on my experiments. I am keeping it so that I don't need to reinvent the wheel when I continue my experiments. The command that I'll use is docker build minus t3 hyphen greet. Full stop. No cache. So let's understand what this is doing. This is the docker command. This is the instruction to build the docker image. And minus t tells docker, please give this name for the newly created docker image. Okay, and this full stop is called the built context. That is where you will find the docker file with D caps. No cache is to prevent it using cache because when you experiment creating images and when you make edits, you need to also ensure that it doesn't cache and it uses the fresh files that you have edited. Okay, so it's done. Now, if you see docker ls images, you will find this newly created image docker images image ls grep greet. See here, three greet about a minute ago. Before we proceed, we need to test the MCP server using a command line Python application that I have created, this one. So here, in this server parameter, we are specifying the MCP server that we just saw, server script. So this, please don't, so we are not using the Docker image as the MCP server yet. Consider server.py python script which we are going to test. So, in order to test, what we need to do is, we will use this image. Okay, so docker run minus i, 3 hyphen greet is the image that we just created, which is a python executing container. And we are giving our client.py to execute. Now, this will start the client.py, which is an MCP client. But when it starts, it will launch the MCP server within using HTDIO transport. Okay, so we run it and here it says available tools, hello world 2, echo tool response, hello world. Okay, so this confirms that the server script works. So let's look at the client code. So here we are asking it to list tools and printing available tools. It is calling hello and the tool returns hello world. Okay, so this is the MCP client. Clear and so this is where the server runs. So we have tested the server script and the client script using HTDIO. Now to launch the monitor tool, I have created a shell script like this inspector.sh. It launches a Docker image that has inspector. This command is special because this inspector will allow us to test the containerized MCP server. That is why we are passing the socket, Docker socket of the host machine. Because from within this application, it has to launch our MCP server Docker container. I hope it's not confusing. Please come by the comment section. So remember, when you containerize an MCP server and run it using HTDIO, the client must have the host machine's Docker socket access. Then only it will be able to launch and access the container from within the MCP client application. Okay, so it has started the inspector. Now, let's browse this. Okay, so here we have the monitor tool. Now, in order to test this, we can uh, replace UV with Python and give our full path to our MCP server, but that's not what we are going to do. This will be STDIO and here we will give docker. So remember this application has access to your host machines a docker socket and in parameter what we will do is we will specify 
it like this docker run minus i minus minus rm three hyphen grid. This is the newly created docker image. Okay, so let's go to a terminal and see if there are any container running. We have one container running. This so this is our MCP server inspector container. Let's connect. See it's connected. Now if you see here you see, six seconds back, one more container has been launched. How did this happen? This, so this monitor tool acted like a client and MCP host and it launched the MCP server as a container within it. Okay. So now if you click list tools, we should see that hello world 2 we saw. Okay. So tool list. And if you click on it here and enter hello like this and run tool, we see the tool working. So we have fully tested our MCP server running within a Docker container. So far is clear. So these are tiny examples, but it took time to prepare these experiments. Okay. So once it works, it will continue to work wherever you try it. Okay. So and the code is available for you to clone and try it. So what next? Next is, we will see how we can access this MCP server from our cloud desktop. So that will ensure that another professional application is also able to access a newly created MCP server, which is containerized. So here is cloud desktop. So it has got 12 tools. So, so these 12 tools are old tools, which we covered in our previous examples. Let's come to the settings. Okay, cloud settings, developer. So these are the file system, MCP server, MCP server 2. They're all running. They're not important for this demo. We will click on edit config. Okay, so this is the config. So what we will need to do is we need to duplicate this section. Okay. Put a comma so that there is no error. Even if there is a syntax error, don't worry. When you start plot, it'll tell you that there is an error. Okay, so this is we will call, what shall we call Docker MCP server. Okay, and command will be Docker and arguments minus i. This we don't need. Minus, minus, minus arm so that container is removed when we exit. Docker run minus i arm three hyphen greet. Okay. Since this is running as a desktop application, you don't need to map the socket. Earlier, the monitor tool ran as a web application. So that is why we had to map the socket for the Docker host machine. Okay, so that is it. Now what we need to do is we need to stop and restart Cloud. So let me stop Cloud. I'm restarting Cloud. See now, there are 13 MCP tools available. So let's see if there is a new container. Yeah, see, 18 seconds back, one more container. So we have two MCP server containers running. One is by the monitor tool, by the web interface. Now from cloud desktop, docker logs minus F. See here. This is Claude trying to access this. Let's see the uh, settings to confirm that our Docker MCP server is running. Yes, it is running. Okay, this is the argument. Okay, so can you pass the word hello world to tool? Let's see. Because when we use MCP server via an agentic system like this, we cannot explicitly ask it to use a specific tool. Okay, so it is asking us for permission. 
it has passed the greeting to the tool and hello world this hello see the spelling they match so this is coming back from our mcp server which is containerized clear any doubt okay so this is another experiment that i have done that is if it is confusing please feel absolutely free to come by the comment section so in this experiment we have the containerized docker image of mcp server okay now we saw how we can run it using the monitor tool by the web interface by passing the docker socket we saw how cloud desktop can access this mcp server because it runs on our desktop now this is another command line tool that i have created which will run python script client docker.py from command line so we don't need to pass the docker socket because this runs on the command line of the host machine these experiments will come handy when you build your own mcp servers let's look at this client docker script everything is same but in our client script this position in this place server param we had python server.py that is this client connects to python script based mcp server using stdio and this client docker will run docker from within the client just like how cloud runs like this so that is what we are going to see now you can either create a python virtual environment like i am showing here or you can also execute on the command line itself okay if you have the mcp module loaded see here so we saw three ways of accessing the containerized mcp server one is using cloud desktop another is using the monitor tool and here we have the command line way of accessing your docker mcp server so that is it for this video please remember these are all unique videos where you will not see such examples anywhere else so please remember to like share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thank you for your time bye bye